Hello class, this is a mini lecture on significant figures. Significant figures. This may be the first time that you've heard of significant figures. Uh, significant figures are related to measurements. When we make a measurement like something that's one meter in length, there's a number and a unit. So this is different than the pure mathematics that you had in college algebra. Uh, in college algebra or any math class, remember how it started? It was like two oranges plus two apples equals a total of four. So you counted things. These were counted numbers. They weren't measurements. Measurements are where we take an instrument and we use that instrument to quantify how much material we have. Now, with the measurement, people will come up with different values. They will uh, maybe misread uh, the uh, ruler or maybe they think it ends at a different place than you do based on position or interpretation. So there's always uncertainty in a measurement. No measurement is 100 percent precise with infinite number of significant figures or an infinite number of digits past the decimal. So when we write down one meter, we have one significant figure. This one is one significant figure. And it's in the ones place. So that's important to know. What you're saying to a person when you say, I have measured something to one meter, you're saying it could be as much as two meters in length or as little as zero meters in length. It's plus or minus one in the least significant figure. Now I know that seems maybe ridiculous that you could have something zero in meters in length because you measured it and you know you had more than zero meters. But when you write the word one meter in length, you are legally saying plus or minus one in the least significant figure and the range can be then from two to zero. Now you say, well this, this is ridiculous. I know I measured something. Well, maybe you measure it to the tenth of a meter. If you measure something to a tenth of a meter, you convey it like this, 1.0. You're telling people that it can be no longer than 1.1 meter in length or no less than 0.99 meters in length. So by having two significant figures now and uh, the least significant figure is in the tenth place, uh, we have a higher degree of precision. That means everybody that's measuring it will know that it's at least one meter in length. They'll be a, or at least pretty close to one meter in length. Um, and so it's not like you can have zero meters here. So yeah, we've increased the precision by now knowing what it is to the tenth place. And hopefully that indicates a higher degree of accuracy. Now, accuracy is how close to the actual value you are, how close you are to the true value of the, of, of the measurement. All right. Um, let's talk about what is a significant figure. Well, there are some rules. Rule number one, any non-zero digit is significant. So when I write the number 143, that's three significant figures. Rule number two, this is the hardest rule. There's actually three parts to this rule and they all deal with the zeros. If a zero is trapped between two non-zero digits, it is significant. So there's three significant figures here. If a number is greater than one, and there are zeros trailing after a non-zero digit, like in the number 100, there is only one significant figure in this number, and it's in the hundreds place. It's this number right here. What that says is if this was 100 meters, you're saying that your answer could be as much as 200 meters or your measurement, or it could be as little as zero meters. Now, again, that seems ridiculous. If you want to make sure that people know that all the zeros are significant in 100, you should write 100 with a decimal. Now the decimal is acting as a uh, placeholder and you're saying that the measurement could be no more than 101 meters and no less than 99 meters. Another way we convey this to reduce ambiguity in our measurements is convert 100 into scientific notation. So if we break this number down, it's 1, 
times 10 times 10. So we rewrite this as 1 times 10 to the second power. And that's how we would write this number in scientific notation. Now this number has three significant figures. So uh, the way we would convey that number is because the zeros are significant, when you write it in scientific notation, these zeros are significant, so that they should be after the decimal in scientific notation times 10 to the second power. So the difference again between here, only one digit here, it's three digits, those zeros are significant because any digit in scientific notation is significant. Alright, how do we add significant figures? Well, if I have 3.2 and I'm adding it to 4.67 and I'm adding it to, uh, let's say, 5, and let's say these are all measurements in meters. Okay, what we would get here is uh, an answer of 12.87. That's what the calculator would put out, meters. Problem is, we don't know what was in the tenths place or the hundredths place in this number here. We know what was in the tenths place in the first number. We do not know what's in the hundredths place of the first number here. And we don't know what uh, is in the tenths or the hundredths here. So we cannot legally convey that we know this measurement to the tenths or hundredths place because there's unknowns up here. So the best we can do is report to where our least precise measurement was made. This is our least precise measurement at 5 meters. So that's at the ones place, so we can only report our final answer to the ones place. So to report our final answer, we look at the ones place. We look only at the number adjacent to the ones place, the 8. If the, if the number adjacent to where we're going to round off is 5 or greater, we round up. If it's less than 5, we round down. So 8's greater than 5, so my final answer would be 13 meters. Multiplication and division, uh, if I take 2 and I multiply it by 4.11, uh, uh, I will get an answer of 8.22. Multiplication and division is easy. It's one significant figure in this number, three significant figures in this number, so my final answer can only have one significant figure. So it's by a number of significant figures when you're doing multiplication and division. With Addition and subtraction, it is about place. Where is the least precise uh, measurement? So my final answer here would be, if this was in, let's do this again. If this was in meters and this was in meters, my answer would be 8 meters squared. All right. I think that's all I want to say about uh, significant figures. I hope this helps you. If you have other questions, place them on the discussion board and I will address them as soon as possible. Thank you.